I'm very good in middle game. I don't know anything about end game. This is a <coughs> statement of absolutely ignorant person because big percentage of the middle game, well, I would say 70% of middle game is a correctly played open because that's where you build all your middle game, planning and everything. If you don't know opening, you cannot know middle game. Maybe he meant he was good in tactics, but even that is irrelevant comparing to the uh, importance of uh, uh, opening. Now, a lot of people call they want to improve their opening repertoire. On those calls I take seriously. Of course, what we do is we take the current repertoire of the player, and there are some openings that are really bad openings. That's like you should put veto on this opening. So I would say you cannot play that. Um, the other openings are playable, but you have to shape up on them to play them correctly. And if some openings you don't know very well and you are very vague on that, maybe they should be changed. So right now, well, here I'm going to show you some example of openings. That whatever I show you, which is going to be very little, that's how much I know but I have never needed more in my 60 years of playing chess in tournaments. For, for instance, let me give you this example. E4, E5. So example, knight F3. And if they go F5, that's a Latvian gambit. And there are so many ways to play with these openings that I learned when I don't know, I was 11, 12 years old, that I should take, and if they go queen f6, go knight c4, and taking only five is bad because, no, it's not bad, it's just what it's played. Then knight c3. And it always gives me a very good position. Now, black's best move is not queen g6 because of d3. I don't want to go into details of this opening because that's not we are, what we are doing. And uh, the better move is queen f7, which white cannot take the pawn because of d5, fork. And then even if we go d4, we have very good position. So what do you do?